This is the greatest magic trick Hugh Jackman has ever seen. That's the greatest magic trick I've ever seen. Thanks, Wolverine. But actually, this is just a simple visual effects shot. You just gotta lock your camera off, then film two plates. They line up perfectly, easy. And if your timing is a little off, no problem. Just shift the layer around until it's perfect. But now let's level this up with motion control. This is a motorized dolly that can repeat the same camera move over and over again, giving us the same motion for each plate, allowing for a much more compelling shot. But if we do that same magic trick again, we run into a huge problem. Are you looking closely? The timing of the bounce is off, but I can't just fix it by sliding the layer over like I did before, because now the whole shot gets messed up. When the camera starts moving, your timing is locked. And that's gonna be a huge problem because we're making a short film that requires motion control for every single shot. And that's a huge limitation we have to overcome if we're gonna make the greatest magic trick that you've ever seen. Earlier this year, DJI came out with the Inspire 3, which is a really awesome drone. But what makes it so cool is it has motion control thanks to the RTK system. You set up this wizard staff and it allows it to repeat the exact same camera move that you program into it over and over and over again. And as you saw in the intro to this video, repeatable camera moves allows you to do some magic tricks. DJI has tasked us with making a short film. And guess what? The video is actually out right now on the Corridor YouTube channel. So if you don't want any of that spoiled, go watch it and come back and I'll show you exactly how it's done. We're here at Salazar Park to shoot a magic video. Sam's in this and directing it. I know this drone is like really cool and expensive, but they said if we made this video, they'll send us a smaller drone. <laughs> and that's the one I honestly want to fly. So the first couple shots of this video are not aerial shots, action. But we are still gonna use the drone, so this is gonna look real funny. I'm a drone operator. So Derek is holding the camera, but I'm operating the camera. The camera's really good. It shoots 8K, high quality lenses, all that stuff. Just walking around with a big drone. Do you think it would have been easier if was, the drone was maybe a little uh, smaller and lighter? This video is about this drone. <laughs> it's this drone. Today's game day. We have a series of magic tricks and they go like this. This is the box trick. Basically, Jordan's gonna run up into a box, hide there. I'm going to smash that box she just got into. Hiya! Dong. And she'll appear in a different box. Got me. I have a stopwatch to know the exact moment that I have to kick the box. Eight seconds. I knew it! That was clean. All right, you call action. First, you set up your RTK system. Once you got the drone up in the air, you gotta set your waypoints to get the initial camera path so that we get a solid, good camera move. I'm happy with that camera move. Let's shoot it. And action! The idea here is to capture two separate shots called plates. That way we can combine them together in post. Plate one has Jordan running in and getting into the box and freezing. All right, don't move, Jordan. Then we mark where the box landed and Jordan moves over to the last box so we can film plate two. Plate two. Ready? Ah, yeah! Pretty good. From a VFX standpoint, the majority of the work here is called rotoscoping, the act of cutting something out frame by frame. The only thing we keep from plate one is her running in and hiding, which I then comp onto the top of plate two until the moment Sam kicks the box, using that action to cut entirely to plate two. So in the final shot, Jordan is actually in that third box the entire time. We just don't know it until the reveal at the end, until the prestige. I've never seen something like this before. I mean, people have done robot arm tricks like this. Like, sure, that's not new, but you can't just set up a robot arm like this in the middle of a public park, let alone do that five different times in a public park. I'm a painter. This is the painting trick. Jordan runs up behind a large painting that two people are carrying. I then knock it over, revealing she has completely disappeared. But then it's also revealed that she was carrying the painting all along as one of the movers. This shot is also filmed in two plates, with plate one just being Jordan running in and hiding behind nothing. Then Jordan puts on a jumpsuit over her magician's costume so that we can film plate two of Sam knocking the painting over and Jordan making her escape. But the real trick here is her hat. She puts it on the ground in plate one so that the second version of her can pick it up. That means we not only had to film the plates in order, but do so without touching the hat at all between the shots to sell the effect. It was crucial that she placed it down just right, otherwise we'd have to start over. It's doing the thing again. 
this is the mannequin trick. There's some mannequins at a yard sale. I run up and pretend to be one of them. Sam runs up and kicks over who he thinks is me. hi yuck! That was a mannequin. And the real me gets away. We're gonna need some mannequins. Yeah, these aren't gonna fit. Cause it's like they make them all thickums McGee. I see he's so thick. Oh, I'm from old country. Oh no, oh no! Dick yeah! <sighs> in all the wrong places! His torso is off too. <laughs> oh, I feel it. She was a peach. Women are just easier. Jordan's done. <laughs> this trick was the most complicated shot of the whole video. Play one was easy with Jordan running in to put on the costume and stand still, kind of like in the first trick. But then plate two became a battle with the wind, the changing shadows, and the mannequins. We are racing the sun. The sun is moving. Shadow is covering this area. So we got to bust this takeout right now. This freaking guy. No, this is going to get blown over. These mannequins have always been my enemy. Ooh. I'm going to win with magic. Beat. Now I have to become a mannequin. General. All right, look at the marker on your feet. In plate two, Sam knocks over the doppelganger and Jordan reveals that she was there the whole time. But this shot needs something more because it's too obvious that Jordan is hiding here. And that is where plate three comes in. We got a third plate with the mannequin placed exactly where Jordan was standing. The thing fell over, but it's super easy just to uh, reset, execute, upload flight mission. It is uploaded and start. I'm a filmmaker. The idea here is to create misdirection by showing you a real mannequin at the top of the shot. I mean, that can't possibly be Jordan, right? Kind of cheat it like this way, so you're kind of putting it on like this. The act of putting the jacket and hat on it is the transition that reveals the Jordan that was always there. I'm incredibly proud of this idea. It's my favorite misdirection of the video. This is the trash can trick. Jordan jumps into a trash can. I'm pretty fed up by this point. So I chuck a grenade into one of the cans, and guess what? I guessed right, finally. However, Jordan throws the grenade back out at me, and I panic and toss it into a different one. Boom, it blows up. End of trick and video. This thing is pretty f***ing gross. Are these trash cans used or props? I mean, they're from a prop house, but uh... They have been used. Timing is gonna be particularly important for this trick because the timing of the first shot dictates the timing of the second shot, which is going to dictate the timing of the third shot. They're all kind of like stacked in layers and their timing is rigid. So we gotta establish one at a time. By this point, you're starting to get how all this works and this shot is no different. Jordan jumps into the trash can and has to stay there for all of plate one. I know that there was poop in here, I just know it. Now, it's time to blow up a grenade. The way we're gonna set off this grenade is using an air cannon. Ready? Three. Was that on accident? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. I wasted half the power in that first accident. Goal here is to get that lid to pop off. Hopefully it does, ready? Well, it works. We now have to figure out how to get power to the compressor at the location. I've been standing in trash for about an hour. I don't recommend it. Time to explode a trash can. Hold on, three, two, one, boom! I think we fucked it up. How? You got stuck on the lip. <laughs> All right, no, take two. <sighs> Filling up the air can with some debris. Three, two, one, two, three. 
all in all, this was actually one of the easier tricks to pull off. However, for this next one, Sam is really gonna have to throw down. This is the table trick. Jordan is going to duck under one of three tables. I come in, peek under this table. I'll make a big show of this one. Nothing there. I know it's this one, and I'm gonna just freaking smash it. And then she just comes out from one of the tables I already checked. And action! After getting the classic first plate of Jordan hiding, it's time to turn the table into a stunt table. Table time. And we're gonna be doing that with some cardboard boxes. And this is something that I have already tested, so I know it works. I also know it hurts. It's very safe because it's got cardboard underneath it. Cardboard prevents you from getting hurt, which is why stunt guys use it for all their stunts. Sam has been so nonchalant about the stunt, he thinks he's gonna be 100% okay. When I landed, it knocked all the wind out of me and I forgot what existed in life. Meanwhile, Sam is gonna have to do the stunt and immediately continue acting. <laughs> This is the one I'm looking forward to actually seeing on camera. With the boxes on their side, they should collapse. It's all on Sam now. As I grow closer to the jumping on the table, I do grow more worried, but it's okay. I'll be, I won't die. All right, ready? And action! It's a cake! How do you feel? That was nothing. <sighs> that was nothing. You know, there is a science to stunts, and I'm not an expert in it, but you know, having a slow motion video of Ren performing whatever you're about to do before you do it really helps. <laughs> we have one more place to get for this shot, and that is simply an empty underside of the table. I'm gonna pull this up and show she's not there. How will we do that? The effects. So yeah, I guess the next thing to do is just like finish the shots and uh, show magic, everyone. Magic, magic, magic. Magic. Welcome. Magic. This is the impossible magic trick video that we were talking about. Ta-da! Nothing in the sand. Wow, this is so like classic corridor. Yard sale. <laughs> Yard sale.
Dude, that had such classic corridor vibes to it. Oh, yeah, so good. Like with a little Sam track. I made it, I made it this morning. I love it. The simplicity of it executed so well. The whole time my brain's going, wait, that can't, but the camera's moving, but the camera's moving. Yeah, the magic per parallax is higher magic. than anything I've ever seen so far, yeah. JC's in the shot the whole time and you don't notice right away yes. at the top. It's a great misdirection. It's also great like magic trick storytelling. It's not just a visual effect. Like you guys do a trick and then there's one more trick. It turns out she's there. It's not a match cut. I've never seen a shot like that before. It's totally fresh, totally new. That is a wrap. That's a wrap. There's only one thing left. And it's the fly that's very small drone. <laughs> <laughs>Thank you so much for watching. This was such a fun video to make. It's so rewarding to actually create some effects that I feel no one has ever really done before. If you want to watch the full short film in all of its magical glory, head on over to the Corridor channel. There's actually a link to that video right here, right now. Go ahead, click it, check it out. It was really fun. And thanks again to DJI for sponsoring this video. Now I'm just jealous. I want to do some more flying. I got a bigger drone though. Gonna take it out.